Today we're going to be adding a PTZ control to your OBS setup so you can control your camera right from within OBS. The nice thing is this will allow you to control a lot of different cameras, not just one. Let's first start out with a tip. OBS or Open Broadcast Software is an open source application for live streaming as well as recording of uh, content. There's a large community that supports that platform and creates an enormous amount of free resources and plugins. You can see in uh, the current web page here at obsproject.com forum resources. I'll post this link uh, below uh, for your reference. You can see there's uh, currently 115 OBS Studio plugins. There's themes, tools, scripts. There's all sorts of things that are available here for your use. The one item that we need uh, today is the PTZ control. So we're going to uh, use this. We're going to use it in VSCA over IP mode so that we don't need an RS-232 uh, cable. Uh, if you have your setup in that manner, it does support uh, serial protocol as well. So this was written uh, by G Likely. It's a great plug-in and a great way to control your PTZ cameras right within OBS so you don't need a separate tool or uh, control board or joystick or anything like that. So the first thing you'll need to do is to click on the uh, go to downloads. That'll bring you to this page. You'll see version 0.6.0. .0. You'll want to download this, uh, this file, the Win64. That's the only version that's supported at the moment. So you can download that file. I've already downloaded it. It's here on my desktop. So it's right here. It contains these four files. What you'll want to do is go to your program files, OBS Studio folder. You'll see that there's OBS plugins uh, in here. This is where you're going to want to install this. So you're going to want to open the OBS plugins folder. And then this is the 64-bit. So we're going to want to put it in the 64-bit location cut uh, or uh, copy those files into the this location. It's going to give you this elevated permission required. You can say continue, 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 and continue. All right. Now that that's installed, you can start up OBS. Here we are, we're started. Now what we need is the, the PTZ dock. So you want to go to view, go to the docks, and you see the PTZ controls. You can open that and jump to my other page here. Uh, here's the dock. I like to actually dock it down here. If you uh, drop it down with this uh, scene transitions, you can actually get them to share the same location. So you can see we have the PTZ controls here. Now what we need to do is add our camera. So we go to configure device. We want to add a device. So we want to add a VSCA over IP device. Uh, yours might be different. We need to enter the IP address. Mine happens to be uh, uh, .0.201 and the, uh, the port number that you need is 1259. So you're going to put that in here. You're going to click Apply, Exit. And now, if you just simply, let's uh, make a little more room here, click on the PTZ control. We can click on Preset 1. You'll see that the camera immediately uh, goes to Preset 1. Let's go to Preset 3, which is like the whole table. And preset two again, which is a, a zoom in on the back of the chair and our logo. So that's the uh, the controls that you can do. You can manually control it as well. So you can zoom out, you can zoom down, up, 
you can go to a home position, you can go left and right. So, and you can also set uh, uh, presets as well. So you can just save preset. You can even rename it, my new preset. Okay, and if we double click on one again to zoom, uh, to get away from that position and then double click on my new preset, back we go to that location. Uh, we can rename this one to be logo. And you can see this is uh, how we get to the logo, our new preset, and back to just the chair. That's how easy it is to control the cameras with the PTZ uh, controls. Uh, to, if you have a second camera, what you do is you go in here, you can rename this uh, by just double clicking on it, cam one, you can go in here and add cam two. Uh, however it's controlled, we'll go with the, the same PTZ uh, type of uh, Visca over IP. So cam two, and there we are. We now have two cameras uh, down below, uh, and it looks like that one got reset on name. So I probably didn't enter cam two. There it is. And remember that the uh, port number is going to be 1259, and you should be all set. Thank, Thank you, you for, for watching. watching. If you are watching this on YouTube, please click the like button to help others find this video. As a Gymcom USA customer, please click on the subscribe button so you are alerted to other useful videos. If you have any remaining questions, please contact us on gymcom.us. Also, please post other topics you would like us to cover in the future. Again, click on like and subscribe to this channel. Thanks, Thanks again, again for, for watching. watching.